13th of April. Um, today is Tater Day, so I'm going to get some in. I've got Jazzy, Aaron, and Casablanca to get in today. Um, far more more potatoes than I was going to do, but uh, and I've also got a little elder on site. My granddaughter's here today. I'm going to keep her right the way because she's driving me nuts already. She's she's full on in four mode, age four mode. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. I'll show you what potatoes are when I've got them started getting in 18 minutes. Can you hear her? She's found a worm. But very nice. Right, see you in a minute. Right then, these are my Aaron potatoes. I'm going to get these in. Um, hopefully, we'll have a good crop. I'm just doing one row of these. are a first really. That'll do. Pop them there. That's the tag. So there they are. Get these in. Right, that's one row of taters in. I'll show you when I do the next ones. Right, this lot are Casablanca. These are the these are for second row, I think. These first. First row is I've been corrected by my flat neighbour. Well, that's good because I've got both my first row is side beside each other. No, Ollie, you've not got bleed. I don't know what you've done, but you're not bleeding. I've got one tater left, I'm going to get that in if it kills me. Put this little one in it. Right, they're in. I'll cover them over again. Right, as you can see, taters are in. I've got a jazzy, another jazzy, Casablanca, and Aaron. So they're all in for now. Um, it took me a lot longer than I anticipated because I've got food on me. I've got somebody here with me, as we know. So I'm um, not sure what else I'm going to do, but I'll take you along when I do it, and I'll decide in a minute. Morning again, back to the lotter. Didn't film very much yesterday with the granddaughter in tow. She wasn't in a very good mood, and uh, she's a bit wanting my hundred and ten percent attention. So today I am going to get some bits and bobs in. Not sure what yet because I've got a polytunnel full of bits. I've got some collies that I might get out. Get them in a the basket of two. But I've also wanted to get some edgings done on some of the flower beds. Also, I brought some pond plants up from home to put in the pond. As you can see, we've acquired a bird table. Um, yeah, it's lovely and bright, but also a little bit nippy this morning. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing as we get all along, as per normal. But uh, yeah, see you in a minute. Right, as you can see, these are what I've got for the pond. Um, I believe this is watercress. I've got a load of um, water forget-me-nots, lots of those. And so I'm going to get these in. Next door's pond, I've also said to him, I'll stick a few bits in there if I've got some spare, which I will have, because I've got a never-ending supply at home in the big pond. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to get these in and uh, see how they get on. Right, as you can see, sorry about the noise, somebody's brought a rotavator over. As you can see, first job I've done today is made a bed edge round my flower beds. What I'm going to do next is this path that goes all the way round. I'm going to black membrane it because in the next couple of weeks I want to get a load of wood chips. So I'm trying to get all my bed edges in, ready, um, so that when, it, when I get the rain I can just do massive piles, just dump piles of it everywhere. Um, in this bed eventually I'm going to put a load more dahlias at the back um, yeah so every bed that I've got that's got flowers in I'm just making them as big as I can now and uh, yeah I think that'll look quite nice when it's done sorry about the noise yeah he's uh, motivating like a good nose over there right then plotters as you can see I've done a path all the way down there with the membrane so I'm getting a bit more closer to getting my wood chips in Ooh, let's take this for a little walk. I've also done all the way down the side of the poly, the brassica cage. I made a little bit of a bed, as you can see, around the apple tree. But uh, it's coming along. I'm a bit closer now to getting my wood chips. One of the other plot holders has given me a load of white netting. So I'm going to be making some uh, permanent cloches that I can move around that fit some beds because I'm going to have another bed here um, next to my strawberry bed. I think it, the strawberries have come up but I've not had a chance to transfer them over so what I'm going to do is have a bit of a tidy up, a bit of a sweep and uh, see how we go because I need to water everything in the greenhouse in the polytunnel because that's a bit, a bit dry and a bit hot in there so uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Right then plotters, should I take you on a little tour? see what we've been on with today in this last couple of weeks I'll show you what's growing what's not growing and uh, yeah I'll do that I'll take you around have a little bit of how nice and tidy we're looking we're almost there we just need to know that this weather is going to stay quite nice I don't want any more frosts and then I can get loads of stuff out because as you can see that's quite full and I've got the table behind you so uh, I'll take you on a little tour show you what's going off in here and then I'll take you outside Right, as you can see, lots of things are happening. The Brussels are coming on, pot mums, more cabbages. Onions are doing so much better now. Peas are coming up. What else have we got? Swiss chard's coming up. Black-eyed Susans. Not a little sausage to be seen on that. Salad. Still got a load of onions. Oh, my marigolds are all coming up. I think they're cauliflowers and then we've got onions galore we eat a lot of onions in our ass more collies spinach that is well ready to go out I just need to decide where it's going I brought some dahlias up some more onions and some more collies and then we'll go outside this here this timber I'm going to put one either side and make a, a bed round it and then at the back entrance at the back there where you can see it's all overgrown I'm going to dig that over I'm going to put a load of dahlias in there I think that looked quite nice make like a border of dahlias the garlic since I've weeded them and gave them a fade they've come in on a treat um, that's ready I just need to dig that over that's where my peas are going we've actually got signs Let's lift this up, if you can see. In there, we have literally just got the showings of the parsnips at the back. I think there's one or two carrots just raising the little heads. So we should be all right for that. That's that other bed I made today. I know it's a bit eagle to pickle there, but it's a lot neater. It's a lot bigger. And I've got a defined path now. So I'm going to put dailies at the back of that. Right, that's my pan shop rhubarb that I brought last year. I think it was going to flower, so I chopped the middle bit out. And since I've done that, it uh, well pulled it out. 
um, we've had a few more sprouting leaves. They brought beans. I'm not sure whether they're looking healthy or not now. They were. My sweet peas is crap. These broad beans, I'm still not happy with these ones either. But my logo berry is taken off. I love it. It's coming on a tree, which is uh, all good. Right, in this bed, under there, I've got some radish which are which have come up lovely. This has been in the best part of six months. It's not done much at all yet. So I'm hoping that it comes good, because that is a radicchio under there oh we've got the signs of beetroot coming along over there ignore that little weed you can see just and see a little beetroot and then we've got some lettuces coming up which is good tater beds don't know if you can see that very well on there but i've got one one two three Four rows of potatoes in. I've got two first earlies, two second. Nothing as yet in there because that bed is going to be pumpkins, sweet corn and sunflowers. I think I'm going to do it at the back half. And then this front half, I'm going to make a, a cloche. And I think I might have some other bits and bobs in there. Strawberry bed is in dire need of sorting out. I've already sorted it out once, but it needs doing again. I'm going to take that membrane off the back there, weed it again, because I've got two pots of, those two pots of strawberries from home. Sorry, I'll go in, in there, and then I'm going to make a cloche. Well, I've got some a chicken wire. I'm going to make a chicken wire net to go over this cage. So pollinators can get in, but the birds can't nick my fruits in my labour. Another little flower bed there that's Rose Companion and Oxide Aises, which I love, so that'll look quite nice. And I think that's an Achilla in um, pink. These are the broad beans that are sewn in, oh, I don't know, November time. Direct sewn them, they've all come into flower, but they're not very big. So I don't know if I've brought a dwarf kind or what, but they're doing their thing. But there's absolutely no sign, none at all, of the asparagus. I didn't expect much because it was from the pound shop and I got four. So we'll see. The pond's looking lovely, but the bloody mare's tail's come up like rampant. So I'm going to come up one night this week and do a bit of mare's tail deadheading before it starts sprouting but this is looking all good and then obviously we've got the bird table now compost bin doors have been finally done which is good but as things go I am over the moon with how my plot is looking at the moment so I am going to put another bed in if you can see just there um, I've got the timber for it over there so I'm going to get another bed in there and I think I might just have that as a salad bed along with the other one so I'll have one that's going for now and then one to sew later and then vice versa vice versa all year round but yeah it's coming on all my hard work I know I've not shown you much today and what I've been doing but it's getting there it's absolutely getting there and I'm over the moon so uh, yeah I'll say my goodbyes in a minute just want to say thank you for watching like and subscribe if you could share that would be great i am absolutely shattered this week i have had two weeks off work throwing myself into the allotment and i am so happy that i've got as much done so thanks for watching